This video will demonstrate how to use Ctrl M Managed File Transfer or Ctrl M for Advanced File Transfer 8.2 to connect to an FTP server over SSL or TLS. So here's my Ctrl M system. I've opened the Configuration Manager and opened the File Transfer Connection Profile Manager. And I've already filled in the details of the FTP server that I need to connect to using SSL. Now when I test the connection profile, I see that it fails. And it's failing with this error message. And the important part of the error message is here. Unable to find valid certification path to request a target. This means that the file transfer client was unable to verify the authenticity of the certificate that the FTP server sent. To be able to verify the certificate, it needs to have the CA certificate that issued the FTP server's certificate in its certificate store. To find out what certificate the FTP server is sending, we can use the OpenSSL command, which is available on most platforms. I've uh, typed it here already using my FTP server details. I've told it to use FTP commands to start the SSL connection and to show me the certificates. And now it'll set up an SSL connection to the FTP server. I can just type quit to close it again. And it displays all the details of this connection. The bit that we're interested in is the certificate chain. This tells us that the certificate that this server is sending has these details and it was issued by a CA with these details. Certificate chain can have multiple levels. The certificate that we're interested in is the root certificate. So the, the ultimate final certificate that was at the root of this chain of certificates. In this case, there's only one signing certificate at the root of this chain. So this is the one, the one that we're interested in. Sometimes an SSL connection will return even the full certificates of signing certificates, so the issuers. In this case, it doesn't, so I'll need to go to the FTP server owner to get this public certificate. I've already done that. I've got the certificate here. I've received that from them. If I look at it with a, a text editor, I'll see it looks just like uh, any normal PEM certificate. I can double click it in Windows if it's got a CER extension and it'll show me the details. If I go to the subject field, I should see that these details are exactly the same. So if CN is uh, organization is location, state and country. They're all the same. This is the same certificate. So this is the one I need to import into AFT's key store so that it'll, it'll trust any certificate that was signed by this certificate authority. So here I'm on my agent machine where I'll import the CA certificate into AFT's key store. I need to change directory first to the cert directory under AFT. We can see here, this is the same CA file that we just had a look at. This is AFT's key store where it needs to be imported. We'll need to run the following command. It's the Java key tool command. I'm making sure I'm using AFT's Java runtime environment here. I give it the key store, I need to tell it the store type and the password. We're going to import the certificate. The file name is the file we just looked at. It needs an alias, which needs to be unique. Uh, only use the same alias twice if you want to replace an existing certificate. And the trust CA certs will tell it to trust this certificate as a CA. When I press enter, it shows us the details of the certificate we're importing. So we can check once again if it's the one we're expecting. And if we want to trust it, we type yes and enter. And it says certificate was added to Keystore. So now if we go back to our connection profile and test it, we see this test succeeded. So now the SSL connection is working fine. 
Thank you for watching this video of the Control M support video series. Please check our YouTube channel and knowledge base for more videos like this.